Hi and welcome back to another GCSE PE video. Apologies for the delay in getting this one out. Real teaching has got in the way of virtual teaching. And this is a historic moment. This is the final video I'll have with really long hair. I'm about to go and have my hair cut now, so I'm looking forward to that. This one's gonna look at the timing of carbohydrate and protein for sports performance. So the first thing we'll look at is when you would eat carbohydrate prior to an event. Now, carbo loading is a term that we use for endurance athletes who need to build up their glycogen stores in the muscles. Because when you eat carbohydrates in the form of pasta, rice, potatoes, and wheat products, that turns into glycogen in the body. Glycogen will also then turn into glucose, which you use for your energy. So marathon runners, long distance cyclists, long distance swimmers will carbo load in the build up to a major event. So maybe two or three days before an event, they'll gradually increase how much carbohydrate they're eating. That builds up their glycogen stores and gives them enough glucose energy in their bodies to maintain performance over two, three, four hours of competition. After an event, they would also then take on more carbohydrates to replenish their carbohydrate store and replace all that glycogen. If they didn't eat all this uh, carbohydrate, they could hit what we call the wall, where they may run out of glycogen and they wouldn't have enough energy to be able to finish the competition. Okay, the timing of protein intake is a really popular topic at the moment. And if you go to the gym or you're into power or strength exercises or speed exercises, you probably know some of this. So the current logic is to eat protein really quickly after finishing a heavy weight session, speed session, or power session, maybe like plyometrics. And the reason for that is it minimizes the damage to your muscle cells, because as you're exercising, muscle cells are being damaged and the protein helps repair that. By eating the protein, that helps stimulate the muscle growth and accelerates when that repair of those micro tears in the muscles occurs and therefore recovery speeds up. And the last part is it's gonna speed up hypertrophy. That protein that you're taking into your body afterwards through chicken, red meat, dairy products, nuts, that's gonna help rebuild muscle fibers, that's gonna increase muscular hypertrophy. I hope this video has helped. If you've got any little mini assessments coming up or real exams, good luck.